Mars, the planet of fire, is entering Shravan Nakshatra. What are the dates? Around 18th of February to 7th of March. This year, 2024, Mars will be in the sign of Capricorn, but in Shravan Nakshatra. What is Shravan Nakshatra? You have to understand, whenever a planet transits a particular sign or a particular nakshatra, you have to understand what that nakshatra is and how familiar or how cordial will that planet feel with that particular nakshatra and that zodiac sign. Do not forget, Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. So Mars is currently in exaltation and from 18th February, you will see that uh, this nakshatra transit of Mars in Shravan will be activated largely in your life. Now, what is Shravan nakshatra? Shravan is a very interesting nakshatra because Shravan nakshatra's deity is Lord uh, Vishnu himself. Okay, so <clears throat> Shravan is a very, very, very potent, very powerful nakshatra. And if you go to the seventh canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, you will see Prahlad Maharaj says, Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam. He says this, okay. So what is what is Shravan? Shravan is the first step of spiritual life. Or rather, it's the first step of learning anything in life. Which means Shravan is hearing through the years. It's not just uh, hearing or listening. No? They keep debating in English. What's the difference between hearing and listening? <laughs> okay, but it's not just putting it onto your ears. Okay, it's not as simple as that. Shavan means to not only hear, not only just listen, it means to internalize. Okay, now what the hell, what the heck are we going to internalize? <laughs> See, whenever a planet transits Shravan, I'll give you a very big secret. <laughs> Should I reveal it? All right. Whenever a planet is transiting Shravan, as usual, the first thing you do is, for every nakshatra, you see the houses that this planet lords. So, for example, if you are Aries, then Mars lords your first house, right? Of course, Mars will also lord your eighth house. So Mars is your Lagnesh and your Ashtamesh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Then you see when this planet is going to enter Shravan or has already entered, you will see there is a voice inside of you which will come out. It will come. There is there's nobody can stop this voice from coming. So therefore, when this voice comes, do not ignore it. Now, Lord Krishna says in the Gita that I am situated in the region of the heart. He's, he's sitting there. <laughs> but he's also sitting in your mind and everybody's heart. In the region of the heart, Lord Krishna says, Ishwara Sarva Bhudanam Hridesha Arjuna Tishthati. So this means that Lord Krishna is sitting in our heart and he's giving us guidance. But but, 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 not everybody can hear what he's saying. Who can hear? To the extent you are elevated spiritually, to that extent you can hear what God is telling you. To, that ex to the extent you are away from him, to the extent you are engrossed in matter, to that extent you cannot hear him. So therefore, if... Uh, Mars is transiting in Shravan, then it is very much possible that there is something related to the houses that Mars lords in your chart. As per your Lagna, your Ascendant, your Rising, Krishna is trying to tell you. Now, what is he trying to tell you? Well, that will depend on the individual chart. But you will get a voice from within. But the problem, the danger is that voice when when God gives that voice and when it reaches your ears, <laughs> it passes through your consciousness. Which means, whatever God says, it is kind of because of the contamination, we do not hear that exactly. To the degree we are pure, to that degree, it will be 
exactly that. But there will be some mixture, some confusion, some 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 impurity there. Not because God is impure, but because our consciousness is impure. We will perceive it in an impure way. <clears throat> so therefore, the best thing to do when Mars transits Shravan is to take guidance from somebody who is experienced in that field. So for example, if Mars is your Lagna Lord, find somebody in your circle. You don't have to go to an astrologer. First, find somebody in your circle who has a very good health. Not just appearance-wise, but the person has healthy habits, you know, and the person can really maintain his or her health in the best possible way. So when you go to that person, then try to see what voice you have within. What is the voice which God is trying to tell you? So therefore, you need to do two things. One is seek out guidance externally. Hear from somebody, okay, Shravan, hear, put your ears. God has given us two ears and one mouth. <laughs> what does this mean? Our hearing should be at least double, ideally more, <laughs> than what we are speaking. Because one who cannot hear, cannot speak. Should I repeat? One who cannot hear, cannot speak. So therefore, hear from some experienced personality and also, and, 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 get into meditation. Go and try to figure out what Krishna is trying to tell you. He will tell you something. So, for example, if Mars is your 10th Lord, you are a Cancer Lagna, Krishna may try to give you some information, some guidance about your profession. Hey, you are going wrong in this way. Hey, you are going right in this way. And depending on where Capricorn is, it will be decided which area of life it will be coming from. Okay, So, for example, if uh, Capricorn is your 7th uh, house, then it can happen that something to do with the lordships of mars is coming through marriage through partnerships okay so this is how it can manifest but nonetheless you have to understand that you need to hear hear the voice from experienced people outside and also from within and if you feel the voice inside is too much cluttered and you don't understand then Best is to hear the advice from somebody who is experienced than us. So therefore, ju just do these two things and you will get an answer. And of course, it depends on which dasha you are running. So if you are running Mars dasha or you are running Saturn dasha, then this will be more prominent. Or even if you are running Moon dasha, why do I say Mars? Because Mars is the planet, then Saturn is the lord of the sign and Moon is the lord of Shravanakshatra. Shravanakshatra is also related to Bali Maharaj. Right? So Bali Maharaj and that pastime is there where um, he wanted three, he, he uh, like Vamandev, Vamandev, Vishnu Avatar, wanted three steps, three steps, okay, just three steps. And then Bali Maharaj uh, promised to give him that and then he measured the entire um, planetary systems, the Bhuloka and everything above. And he uh, then the third put he kept on the head of Bali Maharaj. So when Mars is transiting Shravan, there could be a situation if your Dusthana houses Dasha is running. So if you are running Dashas of planets in Dusthana houses or lording Dusthana. So for example, uh, if you are running Dasha of Mercury, suppose Mercury is badly placed, okay, he is in 6th, 8th, 12th, or Mercury is the Lord of 6th, 8th, or 12th, then it can happen you might be forced by the will of destiny to accept some lower position, okay. It can happen, but at the end, what happened when Bali Maharaj? Uh, lost everything then uh, Vamandev promised him that hey I will uh, make you the Indra in the next Manvantar okay and 
as of now you will be living in the sutala planet which is under uh, it is one of the lower planetary systems but it is more opulent than the swargaloka where indra resides the king of the devatas and i will personally be your doorkeeper in the sutala so three things so you might have to do something thrice or three people may help you you may have to go to a place where the numerology is three like you know room number 20 house number 20 building number 20 or the pin code is three you know you add something you know, like whatever you add the pin code and it is three something to do with number three will be there because three is also the number of jupiter and baman dev is also the avatar related to jupiter the vishnu avatar so therefore make sure you have contacts with good people and if you your attitude now is like Bali Maharaj, which means you want to subdue everybody, then you will be humiliated big time. So therefore, keep your ego low, keep your arrogance in check, keep your attitude in balance. Even if you have that, don't keep showing it externally. You, you will suffer. Okay, so please keep your ego in check. Otherwise, you will have a terrible time. Okay. Because Mars is a malefic and he does not give you time to rejoice. So therefore, learn from others, hear your own voice, read the scriptures and try to see which dashas you are running. Keep your ego in check and if required, if the dashas are bad, you might have to shift to a different job or a company which is a bit lower than what your level is. That could be the situation. Okay, I am not just saying good things here. But because Mars is exalted at the end, it means for sure you will be understanding what is going on. Of course, it depends on your chart also, not just Mars. But nonetheless, this is how this transit will behave for everybody. So here, what is going on? What, what is he trying to tell you? Just think, okay? Think, 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 and you will have an answer. And if you don't look out for some person who is more experienced to give you that answer all right thank you so much for your patience if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up and for consultations regarding your web uh, horoscope you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you